good morning. My name is Brian Zinski. My name is Jack Saxton. My name is Daniel Skowski. And I'm Rodrigo Ibarra. Our claim is and the lower, lowering the voting age for federal elections will have an impact on voter participation in the elections. Environmental impacts about this decision, if the voting age is lowered uh, to 17 years old, there will be millions of new voters for the elections in, the, in all the territory. In order to satisfy and they're needed, we're gonna need more voting station and paper. The decision will make use to sacrifice a lot of new trees to get more paper and take more space. According to, to the Kids Count Data Center, in 2018, here in the USA, we're about um, 12 million new teenagers between the age group of 15 years old and 17 years old. It's true that just the 17 years old can vote if this decision is taken, but there will be a new million of voters if the decision is took. The voter paper is a small part of the paper wasted in the USA, that's true. But this less and uh, certainly sacrificing more trees when this can be avoided is a better decision. Avoid excessive deforestation will be better for the environment and will be better for use economically. Okay, so I'm gonna be talking about the, the ethical impact um, from the point of view of the section of the government ratifying the amendment. So uh, ethics are moral principles that govern a person's behavior or the conducting an activity. So it's basically like the right or wrong of people's actions. And uh, the 26th amendment says that the rights of the citizens of the United States who are 18 of years or older uh, to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on uh, account of age. So this, present, this prevents age discrimination because um, it's, it's basically saying that um, people 18 years or older can't be denied the right to vote. Um, so this would, this would affect the ethics of their decision because they have to think about all the possible outcomes and um, decide if it, it would be morally right and the people it would, it would affect. Um, and then gerrymandering is when a political group tries to change a voting district to create a result that helps them or hurts them, or uh, help, helps or hurts the groups that are against them. And this is something unethical candidates do um, in elections to help them get ahead. And if they're lowering the voting age to 17, the, the people ratifying it um, may be biased in their opinion due to the, um, the current candidates and the parties that they're with. And so this would raise questions about the ethics of their decision. Then I have culture impact and I said that if we do add 17 year olds, like they're allowed to vote, they're gonna be like the least amount of voters. So they're gonna have the least amount of votes. And we can see that in this graph right here. Uh, 18 to 29 year olds have the least amount of votes in this graph. 30 to 44 year olds have the second least. Um, 45 to 59 year olds have the second most, and then six, uh, people aged 60 year older have the most votes. So. The 26th Amendment states that everyone 18, year olds or 18 years old or older um, can't, sorry, uh, can't be denied the right to vote no matter the race or their color. And what this does is it, um, it, it encourages people to become more informed and This helps give more people a voice in the political field and can completely change how an election is or not. The political impact of this would um, be that 17 year old voters would be affected because of the poor decisions they make. Um, an example of this is in the revolution of these people by Henry Wilhelm, where it states, I also once drove my Ford e Homeland van halfway into the forest before running into a ditch and realizing that it wasn't even a road at all. This is an example of a poor decision that this person has made, and this is a decision that could commonly happen during elections if 17 year olds make dumb decisions in this way. Um, another
another is direct side bump straight down on line two before crushing through an entire ski line. This shows another dumb decision made by the exact same person. So it shows that it's not just once that they made a dumb decision, it's multiple times that they made decisions that could potentially affect an election. A historical impact would be um, if 17 year old voters, if they have to pass another amendment to allow 17 year old voters to be able to vote, and the Passing an amendment is a lot of it's a very long process. It requires a lot of it requires a lot of sorry. It requires a lot of people to go and check it, make sure it's good, make sure matches. The twenty sixth amendment states that the rights of citizens in the United States are eighteen years of age or older to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or any state on account of age. This shows that the 18th Amendment, or the 26th Amendment, allows 18-year-old voters to vote. And this is the most recent voting amendment that was passed. And this allows 18-year-olds to vote. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I have a question for each of you. Uh, I'm just going to go through the order of how your names were in the first slide. So that's, Brian, you're up first. Brian, in the future, what change would you make to your group norms, and how would you expect that to improve your team's presentations? Um, maybe meet up more. Maybe all of us meet together more so we could practice more. We could work together. We could um, put all our stuff together and maybe have everything lead together very well. So everything goes on top of the other. Like. All right. Um, Jack, you're up next. Um, Reflecting on your colleagues' works, which one had the greatest impact on your understanding of the problem? Um, I would say, I'd say that Daniel's probably did, just because like we kind of had like the same evidence in a way, and what he said pretty much just I reflected on upon. So, all right, um, and then Daniel. What is an example of a compelling argument that one of your peers' individual reports that you decided to not use in your presentation? Um, well, I, I changed my lens halfway through uh, our whole project because I was having a hard time finding evidence and it would have been hard to explain, so I changed my perspective. Okay, and save the best for last. Where'd you go? Yeah. In what ways did you improve your ability to work with the group because of this? I get. I had a better communication with the group. Um, I have to work um, thinking more about what I'm gonna say before say it. And I'm pretty sure that in a few months I'm gonna be better than today. All right, you guys are done. Breathe. <laughs>